Right, I'm going to show you how to do a bit of lock wiring. Um, this is a Gen 1000 RR. I'm going to show you the tools that I use to do um, the stretch bolts because you can't remove these unless you replace them, in theory. Um, I know a lot of people do take them out and stuck them back in, but uh, I'm, I'm pedantic. Uh, so the best tool for this is uh, one of these. It's a, a center punch. Um, basically, this one's an adjustable drape one. Unscrew that, makes it soft, screw it in, makes it hard. You push down on this and it makes it just in. And what I do is just stick it on the bolt, uh, press it in, and it gives a, a loud pop. So I'll just uh, I'll zoom in and show you that. All you do is pick a point on the bolt, press, and you'll hear a click. That's quite tough. Do it a couple of times, two or three times, you get a good good bite in there. And all you're doing is, uh, is putting a, a nice little dint in the bolt so that you can drill it. Now I'm using a very, very, very small drill bit for this. Um, I'm not sure if the lock wire will actually uh, thread through a hole for this size because they're a new set. Um, I'm probably going to have to go one up, but I'll start with this one um, and then uh, we'll see. So I'll uh, use the Dremel. Um, you can use a drill, but then you risk rubbing and hitting these bits. And as you can see, a lot of carbon fiber on this one, so I don't want to damage it. So I'm just going to stick that into the Dremel and hopefully I shouldn't nick anything. And the tape appears, right? So I've just stuck some tape on because at the angle, um, it looks like it'll nick. I mean, you can use one of these flexi things, which is like a, a Dremel uh, end. You can get these that'll fit on the end of your drill. And they just, you know, they can go anything. But that in there, um, in there, it's pretty much the same issue with this. So I've just stuck a bit of tape on. Should be fine. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> Fancy, straight through, dead easy, no pressure. You know that was uh, that was really easy to do because um, the bolts are quite soft. So, hence why I picked such a small drill bit. So now um, I'm going to drill a hole in the filler cap, which is plastic, so that should go through dead easy. Um, use a bit of this plastic to get rid of these bits of crap. Uh, blow them off with a compressor later. Um, job done, and we'll start lock wiring. There's the lock wire, um, and if you haven't got a lock wire spanner, I strongly suggest you get one of these. Um, they're not cheap, cheap, but uh, it just makes it look so much better. Um, you basically cramp the, the lock wire ends in here, pull this, and it spins as you do it. You'll see in a second. It makes the it makes the job just look miles better. So let me uh, let me start that now. Right, so I've put like a, a hook in the the lock wire like this, just because uh, these bolts are. Uh, tiny really so uh, it just makes it a bit easier threading through and getting it out the other end so try and do this without too much faffing and, uh, the hole is literally the size of the lock wire so it just needs a little bit of persuasion and once you're through I can just hook it around like that and we're in is just there so I'm gonna pull these through and I'm gonna grab them uh, just a bit away from so let me just move the camera so you can see um, once I start spinning but essentially I'm just gonna grab them literally there so almost dead in line with the hole you, the hole is just here but we're, we're about three or four mil behind it and that should be, give us just enough to get the spinning but also keep it tight 
So let me let go of that and I'll move the camera so you can see how these lock wire uh, pliers work. So as I was saying, you grab just a couple of mil below the hole, not, not dead on. This is only a short piece. And then as you see, you clip these in and push this down and that locks now, so that's locked. And then all you got to do is pull this like that. And once you let go, in, pull in and do a few turns. Don't go nuts. That's probably enough. You don't want it too, too tight. Um, and then all you do is squeeze them. And that releases it. Nice and easy. Then we pick a piece to thread through. Now I want it to stay that side. So I'm going to tuck this through here. So this is where you've got to be gentle but firm. You know, get it through. But try not to uh, scratch anything or bend all your lock wire. Because you still want it to look cool. So let's face it, it does look fucking cool. It's not just useful. Once we've got that through, we can give that a bit of a pull. There we go. You can see we've got a little bit on there, but that should keep this obviously tight enough so it doesn't uh, rotate enough to allow any oil out. And just give that a little tug. And I'm going to clip the ends off here. You can use the lock wire pliers to clip the ends off, but to be honest, they're shit. Uh, they're not sharp enough. So I'm just going to grab them, give that a squeeze in, and lock it in. There we go. And then just pull and spin. And that pretty much spot on. Let go, done. And there we go, easy as that. Um, if that's sharp or anything like that, you can give it a little file down, but this end's not too bad. I'm just going to push that right over. Yeah. I'll even use these because it's a bit of a fucker. There you go, done. And that's not coming off at all. Job done. And if you want to put any more tension in this, obviously you can do. Um, if you're not sure exactly how tight to do it, just have a play. But that's it. Quick, easy job. Uh, drilled the hole. Two holes, essentially. Done the lock wire. Nice and easy. Um, I'm going to bang up a few more videos as well, just showing you how you can do with other bits.